Hello. Good morning, all. Now today we will see the model analysis of bracket using ANSYS FPDL. Now this is the problem. Here is one bracket. In this bracket, this is the width, height, and depth. 100, 60, 30. And here also same. Two different plate attached together and created one bracket. And the material properties are given. Ames modulus, Poisson's ratio, and the density is given. Now we have to solve this problem using ANSYS FPDL. Now we will see how to solve this. First open the ANSYS. Okay. Then go to preprocessor, element type, add edit delete, add solid and this one brick node 185. Okay for model analysis. Close. Then material property, material model structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, here it is mentioned 2.1 E5 and Poisson's ratio 0.3 ok but along with this uh, Poisson's ratio and egg modulus for model analysis we have to apply the density so here is option density click on density density mentioned in the problem 7.83 ok so this is the, your material properties now we will draw this model create now here are x y z values so we have to draw this using the volumes and blocks by two corners and z and x 0 initial point 0 0 and the width width here is 100 height is I think height is 60 and depth is 30 and depth is 30 then click ok this is one plate you can see this in 3D ok again we have to create another plate so from x next point will be 70 because from consider this as the initial point from this next plate initial point is this one so this is 70 y is not changing so 0 width here is 100 now how to decide width and height here see previous case width is 100 this direction so here this direction is 30 here depth is 30 in this direction here this direction depth is 70 height is vertical height vertical so here it will 30 is width 70 is depth height is 60 width is 30 height is 60 and depth is 70 okay so this is your geometry now but here two different geometries two different plates so we have to add both so go to operate booleans add volume select first and second volume and ok ok now geometry is added now once the geometry is added now next step is meshing mesh tool global here you can give the minimum age length suppose 5 as you are increasing the age length the mesh will be coarse the mesh is select and ok ok now in this problem we will fix to one edge and we will give the uh, vibration to the another side and we will see the mode we will extract the mode shapes so for the load case we will apply the defined load we will fix to one edge structural displacement on area now we'll fix this edge apply okay so this is fixed now next step is we have to define the solution type here because that is required for model analysis so analysis type new analysis here instead of static we have to define model okay then you will see another option here analysis option in that these are the different methods to generate the matrices so out of this we will use this block lunges and we will extract suppose 6 modes we will see the result for 6 more shapes and ok and then solve current ls and ok
okay, solution is done then we will check the results how to check the result first result summary will check whether it is creating six sets because six more should be extracted so this is first result then go to read result here we'll just click on the first set and go to the plot result and deform shape deform plus undeform okay so you can see this deformation similar way you want to see the displacement nodal solution dof solution displacement represent okay so this is the maximum displacement it is mentioned here and if you check the if you want to check the animation animate and deform shape Okay, so this way it is deforming. You can check this. Okay, so this way you can solve the modal analysis. This is very simple problem to understand what is modal analysis. Thank you, thank you for listening.